I love being alive, man. And I got very close to losing it all. I'm doing some exercises, and I notice it feels like I've got a bone in my stomach or something. I felt like I had a bone where one didn't belong. So I went and had a CAT scan, and they say, yeah, you have a 9 by 12 inch tumor in your body. And I said, what the, well, that's the size of a child, man. There was no pain, and turns out I had lymphoma, this cancer. They didn't know exactly what kind of lymphoma I had and what that particular chemo cocktail ought to be. So there was some experimentation. And uh, then I got the news. I said, oh, it's working. The thing's shrinking. And uh, I was so happy, and I came back home. And then I get this letter that night from the treatment center that says, there's a chance you have been exposed to COVID. <laughs> and I said, oh, my God. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it meant that COVID was going to hit me pretty hard because that chemo that I was getting stripped me of basically of my immune system. Turns out that COVID made my cancer look like a piece of cake. So it knocked me out, you know. I'm, uh, it was a bizarre experience. Everybody was in, you know, these blue gowns with masks on and visors. It was like being in the twilight zone. You know? Very bizarre. In times like that, where you're close to death, man, I mean, they didn't know if I was going to make it a lot of times. I realized how dear and how important the intimacy with my family, with my wife. That's where I, I kind of realized stuff I missed when I was in there, deprived of all these other things. I certainly didn't miss the love of my family. I miss being with them and seeing my grandkids and some of my dear friends, but their love, oh man, that was so strong. The big goal, once I got home, was my daughter, Haley, was getting married. And I, I thought, gee, am I gonna be able to walk her down the aisle, you know? I'd really like to do that. So I worked with my trainer and another health expert. They brought me into physical condition that I could not only walk her down the aisle, but I got to do our wedding dance. Yeah, that was wonderful. Not everybody understands what immunocompromised people are going through right now. I was concerned because I'm you know, feeling better, but I'm still very immunocompromised. And my doctor said to me, you know, you ought to try to up your antibodies. <laughs> and I said, you're kidding me. He said, no, try it. You got it, you know, it's a good idea. And I talked to all my docs. Now, here's the punchline. Sue, my wife, got COVID. And I'm in the house with her, but I didn't get it. So I'm thinking this stuff works, you know. It's wonderful to turn people on to this new option that they can take that'll up their antibodies. I'm hoping that I influence people to call their doctors, talk to them, and see if this is for them. We're all connected, man. We're all in this thing together. And we make a difference what we do.